So today is the day of my breast biopsy. About a month ago, I came in for my ultrasound diagnostic test and uh, they proceeded to do the 3D ultrasound and or the 3D scan and then the 3D ultrasound and came back and told me that there was something um, in my right breast. Um, from there, they wanted me to schedule a core biopsy. I have scheduled the core biopsy four times out of fear and out of sickness and other things going on. So I'm here. Second week pulled up, I lost it. Uh, I'm really scared and I know fear is a liar and fear is not from God. Um, but for those of you that are about to go through this, I'm sure you have the same emotions and you're fearful and you're uncertain as to what the results might be as well as maybe just the procedure itself. Um, I kind of want to just chronicle my journey so that those that are going through this don't feel alone. Um, I've got my husband right here by my side at the moment, but um, my makeup looks so pretty this morning. And then the second we pulled up and I saw a hill breast center, I just lost it. Uh, breast cancer is in my family. It's in my mom's, uh, my maternal grandmother's side, her sister's. Um, so it's just scary. And you know, you just hope that it's nothing and hopefully all this will be clear and nothing and I keep praying that, that they're going to do an ultrasound today and you know what they're not going to find anything and I'm not going to have any kind of procedure so um, I've taken an Ativan I'm going to try to chill out they've given me a warm blanket and it will go from there I know I can't film the procedure but um, just wanted to kind of tell you where I'm at and I'll tell you how it is after we're done all right thank you for your prayers I'll see you guys soon bye so I just got out of the breast uh, procedure. Um, I shook the whole time, but they were very good to tell me what they were doing um, in each part, and it actually was very quick, which I was very thankful for. Um, you know, they cleaned the area. They gave me an eye mask, which was great, so I didn't have to see anything. Um, they told me everything that they were going to do. There was the screen up for the, for the ultrasound because they took some pictures first to find the area again. Uh, cleaned me up, put the eye mask on. I had my headphones with some scripture that I was listening to and I just was shaking. They gave me a, a stress ball to squeeze. And then, um, you know, once it was all clean, she goes, okay. Um, and she goes, you're going to feel my hands. and. Uh, they started with the needle and honestly, I didn't even feel the needle go in. That's how good it was, which was great. Um, and then um, once they got closer to the nipple, because my area is behind the nipple, it's a little more sensitive. So I could start feeling the solution a little bit and there was a little bit of a stinging, um, burning, but not horrible. It made me at one time like really clench up, but then I just relaxed again. And I said, just make sure you numb me up really good. So she kept going um, until I was really numb. And then she goes, okay, you're going to feel my hands again. And I didn't even realize, but at that point she was making the little incision. Um, they have this long, um, it kind of looks like, um, I guess a thick spaghetti noodle with an open end, I guess is the best way to describe it. It looks like it's on like a, like a, like a little gun kind of a thing, which I've seen pictures of before. I didn't look at mine today, but I know that's what it looks like. And it does make a pop sound. So um, after I was all numb, um, they used the ultrasound on one side so you could feel the pressure. Um, they put it in. She would tell me when they were going to do the sample, which makes the pop. And she did it. Um, there was no pain. I felt absolutely nothing with any of that other than pressure. Um, once they were done, it was pulled out. She put the clip in there, which the clip is a tiny little titanium, smaller than like a little <clears throat> sesame seed so they can see for future mammograms. Uh, where the biopsy was taken or if they have to remove it that's where they'll know to go and then after they gave me uh, to put pressure on it when they were done um, and then um, put a little glue on there to seal up the incision site now I'm waiting to go back for another mammogram so I'm sitting in the beautiful lovely robe that they give you and a blanket and I'm gonna go back for um, another mammogram so they could see the clip in there and then I should be done and results will be three to five days. So I'll come back and let you know, keep me in your prayers that it is all good. Um, I think hormonal today, I was, I'm a little hormonal today. Um, and you know, of course fear um, takes over and I have a past history of anxiety, but one whole out of band didn't do very much on my uh, anxiousness. So 
I'm just waiting for them now to call me back. And uh, we will go from there. Thank you for your prayers. We will continue to um, just keep you posted. And I hope for somebody else that might go through this, this might help them um, in their journey and their experience. So thank you guys. We'll see you soon. Hey, good evening. Um, it's Lisa. And today I had my breast biopsy. And it's the evening. And I just wanted to kind of give you a follow-up of what happened after the mammogram. So I was concerned with them giving me a mammogram literally right after they just did a procedure, but you're so numbed up, you don't really feel it. They don't give you, you're still getting squished, but not as, as intense as it is when you have a regular one. So still had to have that happen. Um, the doctor came in after that and I asked her a few questions about my sample and whether or not uh, there was fluid or whether or not it was tissue. And she said all three of my samples were tissue. Um, basically the duct, uh, that, you know, normally would have breast milk in it. And I, I did nurse all three of my boys, but, um, had fluid backed up, I guess, in it. And then they could see a cloudy area and that's where they took, um, the samples from. So I, I was trying to find out, was it, was it fluid that you pulled out or was it, you know, tissue? And she said three samples of tissue is actually what they got. So, uh, she left and then the other nurse after the mammogram, um, proceeded to wrap me. So as you can see, I'm wrapped in ACE bandages for the first 24 hours. So if anybody's having to have this done, I've got an ice pack in there and then another one and I've adjusted it like once or twice. I just want to keep it really, um, numb. Um, I don't take any kind of narcotic pain medications for those of you that have been on my channel and watched my whole SIBO nightmare. Um, I'm not really able to tolerate like any kind of painkillers. Even if I were to take Advil, it would totally rip my stomach up and give me a lot of pain. Um, even though I am healed and I'm doing better. Um, Tylenol I've taken before, but if I have more than one dose of Tylenol, it really upsets my, um, my gut as far as me being able to use the bathroom. So I don't do it unless it's absolutely necessary. But as far as how I feel this evening, this is what I wanted to tell those that are going to be having a breast biopsy is really I'm doing great. Um, there's been a couple of times where I've felt it like twinge or it feels kind of sore. Um, they told me that the, the glue stitches that they put on, because they didn't give me actual stitches, will just in a few days just come right off and be fine. That I may experience bruising, um, not to be alarmed. They also told me not to be alarmed since my biopsy took place behind the nipple that if I were to get discharge from the nipple or blood from the nipple, not to panic, that that would be normal because they were just behind their, um, you know, pulling samples. So um, if any of you are having um, this type of core biopsy where they're near your nipple and the nipple ducts, I'm sure they'll tell you the same thing, not to be alarmed if you have any bleeding that comes from your nipple. Um, haven't seen anything yet. Of course, I'm just bound not allowed to take the binding off until tomorrow, um, 24 hours later. And so we will go from there. Sorry, hopefully you're not hearing my husband yelling at our dog. I can hear him going, Charlie, Charlie. So anyway, um, other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. I will sleep on my left side and just kind of prop the pillow up under my arm and just, you know, keep it still and we'll go from there for tomorrow. Um, but I think my anxiety for those of you that are going to be going through this, I think your fear and your anxiety is the worst part of the whole thing. Honestly, um, if I could have, sorry, I'm moving all over here. Let me move this. There we go. Um, I think if I had been able to control that better, this procedure would have been pretty easy. Um, that to me was the worst part of it was the fact that I was fearful. The fact that I had the shakes, the, which I haven't had the shakes in, I feel like years, not, not to that level of shaking where you just have the uncontrollable tremors. Um, the Ativan didn't even do it for me. So if that could have been gone, it would have been really nice. Um, the, the procedure would have gone a lot easier for me. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I have anxiety. Anybody does. And, and especially with something like this. So, um, I'm thankful it's over and now we just wait. So we will find out something, uh, Monday or Tuesday next week, I think. And so just keep me in your prayers. All is good. And for those of you that are about to go through this, or if you've gone through this, you know, feel free to type below. Let me know how your procedure went. Um, you know, it's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. 
um, you know, I didn't even feel the initial needle go in. It was when she started having to push that solution around that I had a few like, Ooh, that hurts, you know, kind of thing. But once I was numbed up, I didn't feel the rest of it. So that's what, that's wonderful. When wonderful news for you, if you're getting ready to do this. So know it's important. You've got to get checked. If you've, if somebody, if doctors found something on one of your scans, um, you know, get it done again. As I said, I canceled like three times due to health stuff and fear too. Um, but I'm glad I finally did it today and now um, we'll just wait and see and I will come back and tell you uh, what's going on once we get some results and of course praying for the positive that everything is benign and good and um, you know that this part will be over and I'll just have to have every six month checks um, they'll be able to see that clip in there and know where they took the biopsy from for future mammograms so all right guys take care of yourselves and I hope this helps somebody watching um, again, comment below. Let me know if you've had this done or getting ready to have this done um, so we can all support each other. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.